Hi guys, welcome back for another video. In this video, we're going to install the extended kernel edition of Windows Vista into a virtual machine. So Hi guys, pretty like a girl. And he got my stories to tell. See both sides like you know. See on both sides like you know. Swimming like so I have an excellent kernel copy of Windows Vista. Thanks to Arthur Masto and Maston for creating this ISO on technopod.net social. Um, but first you have to install VirtualBox on your computer and with all drivers gone correctly installed. Uh, when you make sure about all drivers are correctly installed then click new and <clears throat> give a name for your operating system. Uh, I'll give Windows Vista <laughs> nothing new changes. Uh, it even automatically <clears throat> thinks that it, we are going to install Windows Vista because of our name on this virtual machine. So let's click next. And here's the memory um, size part. We are going, it's set it to 512 max default. This is the lowest amount of RAM that Vista requires to run properly. But even 2 gigabytes, it will run like a total crap. So um, I'm going to do it 4 gigs. I'm going to give 4 gigabytes of RAM. I got 16 of them. And I'm going to create a virtual hard disk. Um, don't just touch there. Click next. Uh, and you you must select dynamically allocated um, to install virtual machine. <coughs> And here is the storage selection. Um, is set to 25 gigs default, um, but I want I want to give 40 gigs for this virtual machine <laughs> because um, I might it's it might sound crazy, you know, but um, I will give 40 gigs because um, in the storage section I have lots of free space. I have a lot of free space, so it doesn't matter for me. Too, perform too much performance from this device. You must enable 3D acceleration for best performance and you can maximum <coughs> set it to 256 megs in the storage section. Um, this is the most important part. You have to follow this perfectly. Um, so go to the DVD icon and choose a disk file. This, this option will help you to choose a disk file and yeah our ISO image is located on the desktop so let's see so let's insert this ISO image and this is all we are going to do so let's start the virtual machine all settings are done um, the only thing left to do is installing the Windows Vista extended kernel um, this ISO image will boot first time as a Windows 7 animation but keep in mind this is a Windows Vista and yep it shows us it's Windows Vista, so it's English US. Mm. But for now, uh, I have a Turkish Q keyboard, so um, this is depends on depends on your keyboard. Um, you have to select um, the the option with, which matches with your current keyboard. So let's just continue install now, and here we go. It asks to enter your product key, but I don't have any product key yet. And keep in mind, this is a virtual machine. It doesn't matter uh, you, you enter a product key or you don't. Um, but <clears throat> uh, it wants you to enter later, but we don't have any product key yet. So I'm just skipping here. Let's wait for a bit. And yep. Uh, you you must accept the license terms. Um, <clears throat> if you don't, it, it will not allow you to install the Windows Vista. So it's impossible to upgrade from USB flash drive um, while your OS doesn't even exist on your computer. So the only option um, available for us is um, a custom installation. Um, Yep, we set we set it to four gigs, and this is the amount of storage we gave to the virtual machine. 
Um, but I'm trying trying to create um, the EFI partition. So um, this is a virtual machine, so I highly recommend um, giving maximum amount of megs um, into this store storage drive. Now click apply and click to the next. And yep. Now, only thing like to do is waiting for a bit. It should probably install Windows on. As you can see, the everything is done. Now, the only thing left to do is um, customizing your account, um, such as giving your a name or your password, or connecting your computer into a wireless network. So, uh, I want to name as Tennis Boiler. Um, it completely depends on your choice. Um, I want to type password. Uh, <laughs> um, I want touch here. But uh, keep in mind, um, when you don't select these options, um, it's more vulnerable to um, vulnerable to um, security threats such as security flaws. So I highly recommend doing <coughs> selecting this option. Now um, I'm using Eastern Time U.S. Canada. Um, time so <coughs> this is my clock um, right now but why it doesn't even work it depends on your location I mean um, are you in a coffee shop or airport um, you have to select public location but now I'm recording this video from my home thank you <laughs> Now the only thing left to do is waiting for a bit until it finishes customizing. Whoa.